accidental invention of silly putty. It bounces, it stretches, it breaks. It's silly putty, the silicone-based plastic clay marketed as a children's toy. In 1943, during World War II, General Electric researcher James Wright dropped boric acid into silicone oil while attempting to create a synthetic rubber substitute. While it wasn't the cheap alternative he set out to make, the result was interesting. It was a polymerized substance that bounced, but it took several years to find a use for the product. In 1950, marketing expert Peter Hodgson finally saw its potential as a toy. He renamed it Silly Putty, and the rest is history. Kids loved the way they could stretch it out, shape it, or roll it up in a ball and bounce it. Perhaps more interesting, though, is that people discovered the putty had loads of practical uses beyond the toy box. The clay picks up dirt, lint, and pet hair. It can stabilize wobbly furniture. And it's useful in stress reduction, physical therapy, and medical and scientific simulations. It was even used by the crew of Apollo 8 to secure tools in zero gravity. Like and subscribe.